I have sad news to report. <clears throat> we had a bunny incident, or a uh, unfortunate incident at the bunny corral. Uh, in their zealousness, the Rhodesian Ridgebacks jumped in there, and uh, you see the fur on the ground, and dragged those poor rabbits out and killed them. And I was very upset over that. I was really, really upset over that. They were both out at night by themselves for several hours, the dogs. And I'm fairly certain it was Suka, not Hazak, who jumped in because the next day she jumped in there again and I yelled at her for it. Um, so that was, you know, sort of a sad ending to the bunny experiment. And I had just come up with the plan to put the male rabbits in the other foundation, which I thought was really going to help out and let the females birth in there. Um, and, and I almost gave up. Pastor said he would get his hutches out and everything. And then the escape rabbit was seen again this morning. So there is still a chance, at least from that line of rabbits, to continue on with our experiment. And I had also back there put that live animal trap with some seed in it to try to catch the wild one and she had ignored it for a long time and then I went over there this morning and the grain was gone and I had locked the trap open so she could go in and eat it so she thinks it's safe so last night she was in the, ra um, the tomato area eating tomato plants I think um, <clears throat> And so I took that over to the, rat, the garden and I baited it again with grain, but this time unlocked the trap door. So hopefully what happens is she feels confident enough to go in there and gets trapped. And then we will start over by putting her in there. And I'll have to change the configuration in there because she ran up the uh, panels that are against the wall that we put there for their shade. So I'll have to like put the panel somewhere near the middle of the enclosure so she can't run up it and jump out. But there's hope, pray for us that this, this works. Um, and if it doesn't, we'll carry on. I really enjoyed having the rabbits, not so much for like our personal, but I did like having them as trash compactors. They were really good about eating leftovers that the goats wouldn't eat. And also the, I don't know if I've shown you the, the pen lately, but the manure in there, these passion fruit have just gone crazy because of the manure in there. I mean, the plants are bigger and the fruit is bigger because it's getting lots of rabbit manure food. <clears throat> so that aspect of the experiment was also successful, that the manure works really good. So all I need to do is get in there and, uh, and scoop some more and put it into the garden. So that's the update from the, the rabbit enclosure. Rest in peace, little bunnies, but uh, keep your fingers crossed that we can catch that escaped convict. All right, bless you. Okay, fugitive bunny has been spotted.